Lucy, tell me about your academic disaster. Um, I mean, I think the A student gets a B minus complex is very real because that is what happened to me. I, it was a Shakespeare class and I love Shakespeare and I felt like, you know, like in high school, I was always called on to like read the, you know, the big soliloquies because I like knew how to say that, you know, I felt I came in very, not cocky, but like, I felt like I wasn't in over my head. Like I felt like it was an appropriate level of difficulty for me, like first term. And the professor, a big part of the class was every week we'd read a play and every week we would submit like a very short, like one page little writing assignment in the form of like a blog post on the play. The first week was Midsummer Night's Dream. I read the play. I like came up with my blog post idea. It was a five paragraph essay, which spoiler alert, please don't do that. Please don't, do not make my mistake. And I submitted it. I felt great about it. I was like, now we'll wait for the grade to come back. It was graded at a five. I remember getting a four out of five and thinking, all right, that's that's cool. Like, not a big deal. What I didn't understand is that the like point, like the 10th grading scale is like a thing. So like the fact that, you know, cause in college every point really matters. So in my mind using like high school grading when you have lots of little assignments, a four out of five is like fine, not a big deal. And then she released the um, like the grading curve and a four was the lowest grade. <laughs> that she was she gave or maybe like a 3.9 or something but it didn't make me feel any better and I was like really upset about it so I went to office hours and I asked my professor like what can I do better like I don't know um what I'm doing wrong like I'm really struggling with these assignments and I remember very clearly she took a deep breath and said out loud now how do I say this without sounding cruel and she thought about it for a minute and I was like hyping myself up like whatever happens don't start crying don't start crying don't start crying you're not gonna cry in this woman's office you're not gonna do it and she said you tell me you're struggling with assignment with this assignment but you don't have to tell me I already know and I was like all right cool so I went and this professor is wonderful by the way I love her I love her so much this makes this is you know the tough love element um, and so I went to her office hours pretty much every single week consistently, but I had an upward trend the last week on my blog post. I got a five out of five, which I was pretty happy about, um, and it improved. But that first week was definitely a rude awakening, for sure.